Take a stand, take a stand Everybody, everybody Come take my hand, come take my hand We'll walk this road together Through the storm, whatever weather Cold or warm, just let me know That you're not alone All of it, you feel like you Hey guys, day number five For the pre, I don't know what that was I really don't, I'm tired for the pre-op diet, day number five. Today was an interesting day, to say the least. This morning, I woke up to being at 211. Woohoo! Unfortunately, I had to eat. <laughs> Blah. By the end of the day, that's the reason why I weigh myself, because you're the lightest in the morning and not at night. Um, so it's discouraging when you weigh yourself at night, because you done all these things you've got food and all this stuff in you that just causes you and besides I think I'm wearing heavy pants this morning I had a pre-made uh, protein drink took the kids to a vacation Bible school they're going to all week it's only like three hours um, came back home after had lunch and I had what did I have for lunch? What did I have for lunch? My eye is twitching, that's distracting. It's very distracting. I don't remember what I had for lunch. Well anyway, one of the things I had for lunch I know for sure is this. Here it is for you guys. Can you tell it's green? Mm-hmm. It's actually, it's the Vega protein powder I showed you but it's actually really good and it's becoming one of my favorites I'm trying to mix things up a little bit so I'm not sick of things all the time so um, like this morning I had a pre-made protein shake and then for lunch I had uh, my own protein shake hold on I need a little bit more milk but it's pretty good and then for dinner tonight is when I actually kind of went off the edge. I didn't do too bad. I made dinner for the boys. And dinner was um, sauteed in this. This is going to be hard for me because you got to cook for your family. And then, you know, you taste and eat as you go along to make sure things taste well. I was in this like garlicky, buttery sauce, and it was as thick as cream of mushroom soup, so it was, the consistency was pretty thick. But when you cook it, it's really thin, and then it had chicken, <clears throat> and then I put hash browns, same thing as tater tots, the hash brown circles. Um, put those in there, and made kind of like a casserole, so it was like a chicken and hash brown with the garlic butter sauce casserole. Um, on the side, I cooked myself just plain chicken with some seasoning, and that's about it. Well, I had about a cup of the chicken, and I did great, and then I had another one of these shakes. Every time I got, went back in the kitchen, I started snacking on what I made the boys, because the garlic and butter sauce was so delicious. It was mwah, magnifique. Mm. <laughs> that was weird. I kept on snacking and then I realized, oh my gosh, I'm feeling really full. So I noticed I did a, a, a little bit of overeating than I should have. It wasn't un, too unhealthy. If I were to go all out and eating, it would probably be chicken. And that's the least of the evils. Still got my protein in, that's for sure. I went back and weighed myself and it looked like I gained two, three pounds, but um, we'll see how I look in the morning. I'm not um, going to let tonight's weigh in decipher what is really happening. Um, I just, retaining water from the heat, I don't know. Today's heat situation was bad, it was extremely hot. Tried one of these protein bars. I'm gonna open one for you now. Um, yes, as I mentioned two videos ago, these would probably taste like cardboard. I don't think they taste so much like cardboard. I think they feel the, the just, it's 
hard to chew. And when you're a weight loss surgery patient, you have to chew it until it's totally gone before you swallow it. So here we go, ready? Take a bite. Let's pretend I'm a weight loss surgery patient. Let's see how long it takes, ready? Go. that was a little about 30 seconds I'll count it on my video see how long it really is but this would take me all day to eat um, maybe when I get more onto solid foods it'll be easier but when you're a weight loss surgery patient this may be too hard you have to really sit here and chew it I mean let me try to break it for you I mean it's it seems soft, but it's really, really hard chewy. But there's chocolate chunks in there. It's all right. It's all right. The taste, you can become accustomed to the taste. I'd rather eat this than most protein bars. Mm. So, one thing I wanted to show you that's really cool if you guys haven't gotten yet is a, a blender bottle. People have been making these because protein shake seems to be in right now, especially this year. I've noticed a lot more people going on protein shakes, whether you're a weight loss surgery patient or not. But this blender bottle, I got at Walmart. You can get it pretty much anywhere. Amazon, I got this at Walmart. I've seen them at the vitamin stores. It's really cool. They're BPA free, so that's really cool. First, you put your pills, your medicine, or a snack, or vitamins, maybe even some of your protein powder in here when you're on the go. So fill this up with water or milk or what you want. Put your protein powder in and when you're ready, you just dump it in and put it back on. Hello, super cool. And then um, inside of this is this spring thingy. I don't want to touch it too much. Little spring thingy. And what it does is when it's sitting in your drink, and you go to mix it up it breaks down the powder so you don't have chunks of powder that you're chewing on when you take a sip because sometimes mixing just with a spoon or even a mixer doesn't even work that well so this has been a lifesaver so i just hear that it's breaking down the powder so i'm not drinking chunks of powder and end up chewing on it it's still really thick anyway anyway it's really cool and then they got this little handle that is adjustable and you can hold while you're taking a walk or going around somewhere. So this is really cool. This is my favorite thing, my favorite item of the week. I recommend uh, buying one of these. Like I said, I found it where I get my protein shakes at, my pre-mades. I found it right on the top shelf at Walmart. Um, you can get them anywhere. They're called blender bottles. And of course, pink is my thing. Um, that's it for today. I really don't have much um, weigh-ins or measurements or anything. I still got nine days to go. <sighs> wow, nine days away? That's crazy. Um, yeah, I still have nine days to go to completely clean out my system. And then the last three days is just liquid diet. So I know I'm doing good. I'm pretty proud of myself. But I, I'm not discouraged just because I know I don't, I'm not sleeved yet and we all make mistakes and I know that I had more than I should have bargained for today. So I did a lot today. I just was feeling so hungry. It kind of got to me. Um, I just ate more than I should have when I set myself side of chicken and then snacking on what I made the boys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't yet, press the little red subscribe button down below. Um, subscribe to along with my weight loss surgery journey. Uh, go into the sleeve. We will get into more details as we get closer to the surgery day. And we'll talk a lot more when it comes to the surgery day. Thank you guys so much for your comments. I really appreciate all your love, your support, and your comments. It makes me feel good that um, you guys are there to support me. And thank you so much, Bambi S for all your uh, conversations that I've been having with you. 
Um, you are an amazing mom. You are an amazing person. And thank you so much. And I wanted to make sure I gave you a shout out. So thank you guys. We'll, we will see you tomorrow for day number six. Holy cow, I've been on this almost a week. This is crazy. Where is the time going? Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Ciao.